Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be checking out the Wrecker 6 scale figure by Hot Toys from Star Wars The Bad Batch. The top of the decorative box, which features multiple images of the Wrecker figure on the front and sides, lifts off to reveal a dramatic montage of imagery on a decorative insert. Pulling that insert out reveals the Wrecker figure and its array of accessories protected by a black plastic tray. Here's absolutely everything that comes with the Wrecker figure, which you can see standing there in the center. On the right, you'll spy Wrecker's backpack, his DC-17M blaster rifle, and his massive combat knife. Over on the left is the unhelmeted portrait, a thematic display base with an additional topper, and an assortment of hands, including a trigger hand, a pair of relaxed hands, and a pair of gripping hands. The Wrecker figure stands a full 13 inches in overall height and is clad from head to toe in a custom set of clone trooper armor designed to fit his uniquely massive frame. That armor is decorated in original Bad Batch livery with heavily weathered elements of gunmetal gray and black dotted with highlights of blood red. A ribbed fabric undersuit peeks out from within the gaps in that armor and a massive sheath is permanently affixed to the left greave. The Bad Batch skull grazes both the left and right pauldron, and the helmet is decoed with the menacing skull of a mandibled predator with a crimson 99 sigil above the brow. That helmet can be removed and replaced with the unhelmeted portrait of Wrecker, which features an impressive, realistic interpretation of the character's typically animated features. Hints of original clone actor Tamora Morrison gaze out at you from within the sculpt and Wrecker's signature scarring is wonderfully recreated on the left side of the head. The backpack features quite a bit of crimson livery itself and will attach to the back by way of a magnet. The DC-17M blaster rifle can be held at the ready in the included hand designed to hold it, and the combat knife can be gripped in either the left or right gripping hands. When not being wielded, that knife can be stored in the aforementioned sheath at the lower leg. The display base features a Starship deck theme, but this Bad Batch themed topper can be added to it for another display option. Both of the record portraits rest on a double ball jointed neck. They can look in any direction as well as tilt to either side. The shoulders will shrug, dip, press, and row. And they'll allow the arms to elevate laterally a full 90 degrees. The arms will also elevate to the front more than 150 degrees and a full 90 degrees to the back. The double jointed elbows allow for about 90 degrees of flex and a pivot joint above the bicep allows for ample rotation there. The torso will crunch to the front, extend to the back and lean a touch to either side. And there's a fair degree of twist to be had. The legs will lift laterally nearly 90 degrees. They'll also kick out to the front about 45 degrees and a few degrees to the back. The knees will provide nearly 90 degrees of flex and a pivot joint at the thigh will allow the legs to rotate. The feet will rotate at the ankles and will extend a bit in all directions. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Wrecker six scale figure by Hot Toys from Star Wars The Bad Batch. For more information about this figure, or to check out the wealth of Star Wars collectibles available from Hot Toys, follow the link below. Thank you for watching our video, and as always, don't forget to let your geek sideshow.